Hey, what's going on in this video? I'm gonna share with you my first shroom trip in a very long time, probably three years or so. I've microdosed since then, but doing any amount to where I get visuals, it's been years simply because I haven't had a desire to connect to my angels. And usually when I do mushrooms, that's what happens. And sitting here on third beach, some dude just came walking by selling one gram chocolates. And so I just downed the hatch and uh, I'm gonna fill you guys in what happens later. Should be interesting. Stay tuned. <laughs> I wasn't sure after last night if I was gonna be finishing off this video. That was definitely the most uncomfortable mushroom trip I've ever had. It's the first and only one actually, but it was comparable to the time I did DMT with a shaman. However, all this uncomfortable stuff that came up ended up being a good thing. This dose of mushrooms ended up being more like an ayahuasca session. I was sitting at Third Beach yesterday. You know, I purchased a hotel room for the night. Had my e-bike, you know, I wasn't going anywhere. And uh, this guy came walking around selling chocolate mushrooms. And I was like, you know what? It's been a while. I feel a little chilled towards my angels these days. So I was like, let's give it a try and see what happens, right? I always talk about how setting your intentions when doing mushrooms is important. And on this journey, I didn't necessarily set the intentions to connect with my angels. Usually when I have visuals, I get some kind of visitation. And uh, this time I wanted to do was open up my heart. I also made an intention to release some sadness, right? Hours after doing this dose of mushrooms, all this stuff kind of just came up at once and hit me in the face. And it was all this stuff I had buried, this anger that I wasn't resolving. And uh, you know, it was probably, it was definitely the most uncomfortable mushroom trip I had, but it was up there for the most uncomfortable I felt during a plant medicine uh, experience. However, all this stuff that came up was a good thing, even though I may have ended up in the parking lot of my hotel looking up to the sky saying, take me now, I'm done. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I got back to my hotel room and it was 10 o'clock at night and rather than go out and enjoy myself, you know, I was 30 feet away from the beach. I sat on my bed for two hours, staring into space and processing all this stuff that was coming up. You know, it ended up being a good thing because it just helped me screw my head on a little bit more. You know, not much else to talk about. Just felt like an eye ceremony. Just wanted to share with you guys. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.